Hey, so this is an update video for this next week's vlog. Uh, I've been pretty sick the past couple of days, the last five days. Uh, this is actually a Wednesday recording this, but I've been sick lying in bed for the last five days, unable to move, really, unable to do any work. I haven't been on the job site, so I haven't therefore recorded any video of what's gone on, but I feel a little bit better today, so I thought I would take a walk to the site and record some of the house. Also, shout out to Mike Olive, uh, my biggest fan, our biggest fan, and yeah, he's a great guy. Excited to see you back at CBC. So, yeah, I think I, think I had the flu for five days or food poisoning, something like that. It wasn't very nice. My body didn't like me too much, but... If you could pray for my health, uh, as well as my allergies, they're really bad. I can hardly stay outside, but I've kind of just been powering through it and working with the allergies, but prayers would be appreciated, especially for my health, as it's coming up on six days and I feel about 40 to 50%, so I, I would really appreciate the prayers. But yeah, I'll show you a little bit around the house. A lot has been done. As you can see, we have the windows are now in, so all the windows have been done. All the exterior walls, interior walls are done, or the majority of the interior walls are done. As you can see, the roof is on. It's still there, so that's good. I think I'll put a time lapse in this video of Sam, Nick, Abby, and I finishing the roof and working on the roof. But these are the walls. We also have the bathtub shower in as well. So that's what that looks like. All of the next three houses that we're gonna build are follow, sorry, are gonna follow this same build pattern as well. So it's gonna be pretty similar. They're all gonna look the same. It just makes it easier for us easier for the companies that are providing our supplies and easier for the deliveries. So they're all three bedroom, one bath. And yeah, this is what the inside looks like, the two doors. So I'll walk outside, show you that outside. It's a little bit windy. Um, I don't think I'll go up on the roof today just for my health. But as you can see, the shingles are all on, the ridge cap. Uh, the siding has also been done at the other house. We are starting the siding on this house tomorrow. Soffit's all done. And what else have we done? I'm not sure. I haven't even been here. So this is all new to me as well. Here's an amazing view of the sunset. The weather has also been really great. So we haven't had to worry about that too much. But, uh, and also the other foundation is being poured today, or was poured today, and therefore we're going to start building on it tomorrow as well. So we're going to do the framing for that, send a group out there, and then a group to work on uh, the hardy board siding here. So that's the roof. Everything's done. And that's all I really have to say about that for right now. I'm going to try to get some more footage. We have a group here of uh, six Old Order Mennonite girls, as well as four men. And they are here from Pennsylvania, Lancaster County. Uh, we said goodbye to Sam. He had to go back to work, which kind of sucks. Going to miss that guy a lot. But I know God's got some cool things for him as well uh, with his work in this summer. So yeah, we, we have that group in. They're here for two weeks. We have a new cook as well who is here. Uh, they're transferring on and off uh, between four of the girls and they will be cooking for four weeks. And then we have another group coming in uh, for one week and then our youth, our youth camps start 
and there's going to be 20 kids. So that's pretty exciting as well. Yeah. So I guess that's all I have to say for right now. I'll keep editing, try to put more in. I hope this whole five minutes works in one take because that's all I'm going to do. <laughs> yep. Hey, Nick, where are we going? Um. Yeah. Captain. Abby, who are we picking up? No one. Our friends, David Hagelgan. Where's David Hagelgan from? He's from Germany. Germany? And how long is he here for? For a year. Do you know him? Yep. Yeah? Where did you meet him? Pennsylvania, and then we have been working with him. Detroit, Oklahoma. Yep. Are you excited? Where are we going right before? Church! <laughs> Where? The big church, I don't know the name. It's out. What's the name? Spring something. Fountain Springs. Fountain Springs? Yeah. Do you like big church services? I like that, yeah. The worship is, oh my goodness. Okay. Big worship. Are we gonna watch the worship on this video, Abby? Should we show the people the worship? Ah, uh, that would be great. That'll be great. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Where's Nick? Hey, Nick. What? Is Rufus here? Rufus! Hi. Hi. This is our dog, Rufus. Hi. I know, you're so excited to see me again. Hi. Don't pee on me. That's all I ask. Rufus doesn't have a family anymore. Jeez, my, geez, His my. family that lived in this mom, trailer. can I take him home? Left can him. Can I take him home, mom? So we have Rufus now. This is our dog. And you may be asking, Hey Justin, I thought you were going to Rapid City to pick up someone. And, well... Yeah, we were going to Rapid City to pick someone up, but he missed his flight, so he's stuck in Chicago for the night, which means we have to go pick him up at 10.50 at night on Sunday, before work at 6 in the morning the on Monday. Yeah. So that's okay. We're going to have to call in another crew, because that's going to be another disaster, as Abby says. Yeah. So this is the third build site. Identical house to the other one. We have three sheets of wood. And all the floor joists on. <laughs> I'll keep my mouth shut. So we had a group building this for one day. Did you do this on one day, Nick? Yeah. Yeah, so a group did this one day. Uh, well, six or seven people were building the other house. There are six people here. So what? who is this family, Nick? They were pretty pumped. They went and saw the other house that we're building because it's the exact same thing basically, and they were super excited. And the little girls were asking which rooms were there. Yeah. <laughs> Already? Yeah. I see. Yeah, it was pretty cute. All these men. Yeah. They were Friday. They were now outside and they were watching. Watching you build? Yeah. And they said, okay. <laughs> That's what they said. Okay. Yeah, they have a pretty nice view. It's sort of on a little bit of a cliff. 
I have one pretty nice tree. And a dog that I guess isn't theirs anymore, that we just feed. A little Rufus over there. This is the Hands of Faith trailer. <laughs> They're the ones that have been uh, pouring our yeah, pouring our foundations. And uh, one of the, I guess the executive director didn't have a key for his lock available for us because they had the bolts. So Nick broke the lock off, as you can see. And we got our stuff and put on another lock. So we're good to go. And oh, they also have cactus here, which is pretty cool. I've never seen that. Well, I've seen a cactus before, but yeah. So this is the house that the family was, was living in. They had half of their roof torn off and they were covering their roof with two sheets of plywood and this poly wrap. So <laughs> it looks pretty bad. This is the windows and keep in mind they lived in here for the winter. So the whole family all six of them lived in here with, you can see, <laughs> duct tape around the windows. Roof was blown off. And they have a long-term housing that they get to stay at. But just look at it, it's pretty crazy what some of these families were living in. But the long-term recovery picked these guys to get a new home. So, yeah, I guess this is the third site back here that we have, the third house that we are building. The next one is supposed to start, I think, next Monday. We're putting up the fourth house, and we have to do everything and prepare for the summer youth projects and the people that are coming in because the youth aren't allowed to use any power tools. So... We gotta get all the houses ready for them. Let's go see Nick playing with Rufus. Hey, Rufus! Yeah, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? I'm gonna miss you. I got three weeks with you, though. Boy, oh, yeah. Check him. Abby, you like dogs, right? I like dogs. You love it? I love it. I just love it. Do you have a message for anyone? Kevin King? You know, disaster service? Welcome to Pine Ridge. I'm executive director. Yeah, Abby has a lot of trouble saying words. Like who are the who are the four dead guys that we went to see? <laughs> uh, Theodore Roosevelt. It was pretty close, yeah, it was good. Yeah. Abraham and Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln and George Washington and Thomas. Uh, Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> That's nice. And aunt oh. And wh what? Aunt oh. <laughs> aunt oh. Not the fifth dead guy. That's the fifth dead guy. <laughs> He's talking about this, the Mount Rushmore. Mountain. Rush Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So this is the house. Yep. Hey everyone, so as some of you know, my job down here was office manager. I actually spent the first two weeks, as you could see by the other vlogs, or the first three weeks doing crew leading, but I now stepped into a position of office managing, and it's been pretty hectic. We've had a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> I had to go through, sorry, that's Nick. You wanna go say hi to Nick? Hey, that's Nick. Nick. But yeah, so I'm doing office managing now. I had to sort through 2,200 items and do accounting for it and make sure that we had all the 2,200 items for a payment that we had to make for the house. Uh, and I had to do that all in, the, in a day, but thankfully I had the help of John and Wendy, the program, or sorry, project director and his wife. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty great. This is my office, right here. So 
so yeah, this is basically where I work. All the stuff we have to do. I got this letter from Beck. Pretty sweet for Nick and I. Yep. This is all the paperwork we've had to do, had to go through. It's just piles and piles of paperwork. So, yeah. So this is where I've been working for the past week. It's been pretty crazy and stressful, but you know what, it's working out. God's good, I'm learning a lot through it. Yeah, that's basically it. So, in the first two other videos, we, or the first two clips earlier in this vlog, uh, that was the first site, and, or I guess the second and the third site that I was showing you, and the fourth site was supposed to be 20 miles west of here, however, they did not have their land leased, so the location of the house switched. I'm pretty sure that our fourth house is going to be just up here. But I'm not 100% sure. Other people have been saying that the house is going to be over here. But I don't really know right now. I guess when we start building, that'll be a good time for me to show you where it is. But everything is pretty close to our site. Anyways, the Mennonite girls left my baseball gloves outside. Come on, ladies. Anyways, I'm going to go put the vlog together more eventful and then it's just been a photo of Nick playing with a dog and me talking about a house for five minutes. Now that's not the best material but I had the flu and a lot to do in the office this week so I couldn't move for the first three days, first four days of the week and then I was in the office catching up on all the work I missed for the last two so I didn't get the chance to do any crew leading or work on any of the houses but I hope I did a good enough job showing you exactly what's going on. I'll try to also include a time lapse after this of Sam, Abby, Nick and I doing the roof for the first house. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope all is going well. Keep us in our prayers and we're praying for you as well. God bless.